everybody. Almost fell. I'm at home with my friend, lovely blah blah blah, because I can't say her name. Uh, and I have some lovely callus. Very, actually, very minus. My very mild callus. So I already wiped the foot down. I have all my sterilized kind of gloves and bag, bags and whatnot, tissues and everything. <clears throat> And I'm just putting on that right now. So I'm gonna use a 10 blade to take off the, the callus. Um, it's kind of, when you do treatment at home, it's a little bit difficult to do because you don't know um, how to set up your own kind of space. But the most important thing, if you're doing your friend's, friend's feet or, um, yeah, is to go through your consent. Because um, you just never know, like things can happen, then something might happen to your friend's foot. And you just want to cover all bases just because your friend, you know, you hear horror stories and stuff like that. I'm sure my friend will not sue me. <laughs> right? No. Right? No, she's not saying anything, so there's, there's a chance. No. <laughs> she's like, no, yeah, she's not going to sue me. That's what your sister said. <laughs> you have her entire family sue me. Uh, but I'm not going to hopefully not cut her. It's so mild anyway. So she also has a foot file. She's got this foot file. So actually, sometimes you can even foot file that down. Um, so I'm just going to use a, a bit of scalpel blade. Uh, skill, show off my scalpel lay skills. Uh, yeah, that's really good. And I'm just gonna take it off so it's really thin. What do you guys think about the theory about um, if you poo in a room that has clothes being hung, hung, hanged or whatever, that it smells like poo afterwards? Is it just me? No, that's chilly. Yeah, this is really thin. So sometimes it's really, really hard to do thin calluses because you have to be really gentle. Oh, because there is a risk. 